Hi guys, welcome to our channel, and in today's video, well, um, first of all, Happy New Year, and second of all, I know we have not posted in a little bit, I think a little bit under, a little bit over a year, so it has been a good minute, and honestly, I've just been trying to focus more on school, I kind of outgrew the whole toy thing, and uh, Bella just really wasn't into it, so we just kind of stopped producing videos, but we're trying to get back into it, and here's where we're starting. This, I ordered this on eBay. This is a vintage Masters of the Universe lot. And it comes with a ton of figures and a ton of different accessories. So let's just go ahead and get it opened up. So here's the box. It's pretty big. I don't really have exact measurements on it. Guy went ahead and uh, put fragile glass on there. So I appreciate that. So it wouldn't get pretty much uh, destroyed or damaged. So I already went ahead and opened up the box because I just seriously could not wait. I'm just gonna start by removing this like filler. Garbage, we don't really need that. I'm gonna go ahead and pick this first right here. So he went ahead and packaged them in like some like garbage bags with like a, let's see, Kroger's. Kroger's, uh, Kroger's fresh for everyone. So I guess these are straight from Kroger's. <laughs> so first starting, so I already know what's in here because uh, on the lot it goes ahead and shows you what, what you're gonna get, but Here's the first character we have. Oh, here is Man at Arms. As you can see, he's a little dirty, so I'm gonna go ahead and have to clean all these up. He has a little bit of paint chipping right there on the foot. He does come with his armor, and I'm pretty sure he does come with his weapon as well. So it's 100% complete Man at Arms, which is really good. Um, legs are just a little bit loose, so I might have to also replace the leg bands in there. The straps look pretty good. A little damage, might have to tighten them up. Definitely a little bit of grime on these ones. Definitely gonna have to clean these. All right, so that was Man at Arms. Go ahead and put them to the side. Uh, the next one I'm gonna grab right here. Let's see what's right here. Again, in the Kroger bag. Okay, so this is Road Ripper. I'm pretty sure it's missing a couple of the stickers. Here's what it looks like. And it's also missing the little ripper thing. It does have the stickers that are applied a little bit incorrectly. A little damaged, a little dirty. Again, I'm gonna have to clean all these up because I don't know where they came from either. All right, I could have some pretty weird stuff on here. Oh, I'm... and the sticker just came off. So I'm gonna have to replace the stickers too. That's all right. So the next thing I'm gonna grab is right here. Let's see what's in here. Another Kroger's bag. And it appears we have a piece of Panthor's armor saddle. Yeah, it's pretty dirty, pretty a little beat up. Yeah, you can see right there. It's not in the best condition. I'm definitely gonna have to clean all these. All right, let's put that to the side. What else is in this bag? I think this is a Screech right here, but he's missing his uh, armor. And this one actually has a broken foot. Here you go, Screech. Yeah, definitely not in the best condition. Broken leg. But luckily there is two that comes in this bag. This one is a lot better. The wings are still kind of loose and floppy, but he does come with both feet, so I can put him on the uh, his stand that he comes with. The paint's a little bit better on the front. Still a little chipped off. But you know, that's what you're gonna get when you have these old figures. And uh, I should have looked back on these, uh, this uh, man at arms. This is a, um, this is a Taiwan 1981 man at arms. So if you guys didn't know, if you look at the back of the figures, it shows you uh, where they were produced or um, when they were produced. What do we have here? Oh, so we have a uh, Battle Cat's armor. Pretty sure Battle Cat does come in this lot as well. Here's his front armor. Definitely a little dinged up. Some kid had some fun with these, I'll tell you that. Here's the saddle or the satchel. This one has a little bit of paint. I'm gonna have to see if I can take that off. Definitely gonna have to refurbish these, but I'm gonna make them look very nice and tidy. 
Very, very cool. Let's see. Oh, right here we have Battle Cat. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one. Here's Battle Cat. Yeah, I'm gonna have to clean this one up too. A little dinged up, a little bit of paint. A little, there's like something loose or rattly in there, maybe like a pin or connector. Kind of broke off. That's okay. Let's put that over there. Next thing, there's this bag. I'm pretty sure this is Screech's stand. So he comes with the stand, but no armor. It's all right. This thing kind of looks like a little shield, like a disc. Here's his uh, stand. I'm gonna go ahead and grab Screech right here. Look at that. That looks pretty cool. You can't tell me that doesn't look dope. This is actually, um, it just fell off. <laughs> this is actually um, Skeletor's uh, bird. I'm pretty sure in the, I forgot if in the mini comic he's a, a robot bird or if in the animated series he's a robot bird. But one or the other. There's one iteration where he's a robot, the other one where he's an actual bird. This is the next figure I'm gonna go ahead and pick up. Let's see what's in this one. I think you guys can guess who that is. You guys know a little bit about Masters of the Universe. I'm a pretty big fan. I've been, I have a ton of the Origins line but I'm just starting to try to get into the vintage line. Here we have Manny Faces. Boom. And this one, the legs are just a little bit loose. Let's see if his spring works. Yep, spring works a little bit rusty though. Might have to put like some WD-40 on that or something. Mattel 1992 Taiwan. Yeah, this guy's a little bit sticky, so. I don't know what's on there. <laughs> I don't know what's on there, but it's a little sticky. Make sure this helmet thing, the robot, the monster, and many faces. Pretty cool. Let's put that to the side. Next thing we're gonna grab, I know you guys see that right there. Peeking your interest. There's some right here. Ooh. <laughs> Right here we have the star of the show himself. He-Man. All right, yeah, you guys can definitely see his legs. Very loose, I'm gonna have to replace the bands on these. A little dirty, a little grimy. Gonna have to clean him up as well, but once I'm done with him, he's gonna look pretty, 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 pretty cool. Let's go ahead and look at him. There he goes, face. There's a little bit of paint chipping, but it's not as bad as all the ones I've seen on eBay. Legs are a little loose. That's what he looks like. Arms are a little stiff, but the, the armor looks pretty good, which is nice, because I've seen some with missing armor. This is a 1981 Taiwan He-Man. Pretty cool. Definitely want to fix up that He-Man, because I really like him. All right, here's the next figure in the lot. Here we have Trap Jaw. A little bit dirty, gonna have to clean him up. I'm pretty sure this little hole is, uh, I forgot if, if it's for a zip line. He does come with his uh, little belt, which is really nice. He's 100% complete. Besides, he's missing uh, one accessory, which is a little unfortunate, but you know, it is what it is. I'm gonna have to probably buy that separately. Have 100% complete Trap Jaw. And it is rare to see them with the with the belt because most of the time it just comes off or kids lose it, something happens to it. I actually have another trap jaw, but um, his arm is not as good as this one. His arm is all ripped up like a dog got to it, started biting it or something. So here's trap jaw. One last look at him. Okay, this is 1981 Malaysia. This is a Malaysia trap jaw. Pretty cool. Let's see what's in here. Looks to be another Manny Faces.
Get them out the bag. Okay, this one's a lot stickier than the other. Definitely straight off the bag. I can feel it. His legs are a little bit looser. Yeah, there's some sort of like glue or like resin on these. I don't know what's on these. Definitely a little sticky. A little grimy. Another 1982 Taiwan. Pretty cool Manny faces. Definitely, again, gonna have to fix up the legs on that one. What else we got here? Okay, this one is, I think, the only one with a completely broken legs. Alright. Alright, here we have... Zodak, the Cosmic Enforcer. Uh, as you can see, his legs are broken. This is what I mean by replacing the band. So these, they, uh, the vintage He-Man figures come with this band on the inside, and uh, over time they get really uh, like cracked and worn out, so you have to replace them. So that's what I plan on doing. Yeah, they just kind of broke off. All right, yeah, that's kind of unfortunate, but at least we have both of his legs. Is what he looks like. Here's his back. He does not come with his weapon. This is uh, another 1982 Taiwan. Pretty cool. Alright, so here's what I'm gonna grab next. Right here. It looks to be a complete Panthor, so now I have two Panthor satchels. I'm gonna have to see which one's better. But yeah, this Panthor has been through some stuff. Go ahead and look at this guy. His eyes, I mean, he still has the yellow eyes, but. Definitely gonna have to fix up those. The flocking, a lot of the flocking's coming off. Look at his jaw, his nose is uh, right here. Oh, this flocking is really not good. You see a lot of it's coming off. I wonder if I could actually uh, reflock him. That would look really, really nice, but I know it's a little expensive. Yeah, so he has some like paddle damage, I guess you could call it. His satchel, his satchel is also pretty dirty. It says Panthor. All right, so this is just a bag. This is thing, another empty. Oh, something in here. Let's go ahead and see what's in here. Ooh, the master of evil himself, Skeletor. Let's look at him again. Legs. Pretty loose, which is a little unfortunate. His uh, body armor is a little damaged. Pretty grimy and dirty. If you look at that. This is a, uh, can't see. This is a 1981 Taiwan. 1981 Taiwan Skeletor. Soft head. Just filled up with air in there. Nothing in there. Is that Skeletor? And before we get to the big thing over there, we have the bag of all the accessories. So let's go ahead and go through these really quickly. I'm just gonna break down what these are and who they belong to. Right here we have Skeletor's body armor. So I'd probably replace this one with that one because uh, that one's a little bit more dirtier and I'll probably just sell the other one. Uh, we have a He-Man shield. We have two of those. Um, we have Skeletor's power sword, his half of the power sword. This one's a little bit chewed up on the tip, you can see. But we have a second one as well. This one has a broken handle. Unfortunate. We have uh, Skeletor's uh, power staff. With the little ram head on there. Let's see if you can see that. It'll focus. A little chewed up as well. Here we have another staff. This one's a little bit more soft, a little bit more filet -y. A little bit more loose. Um, this is actually the one thing that I don't really know what these belong to. These are like some blaster gun type things. I don't know exactly what these belong to. It could belong to the Road Ripper, I don't know. Um, right here we have Man at Arms and Mace. There you 
go. Then I have to clean that up again. We have uh, two Manny Faces guns. We have... I guess, I guess I just got three Skeletor Power Swords somehow. There's another one right here. That's, that's kind of interesting. Right here we have He-Man's power, uh, half of the Power Sword. Right here we have a Merman's sword. Looks like a big piece of corn. Like a pickle, actually. Right here we have two of Trapjaw's accessories for his hands. He's actually missing one. A little blaster and a little claw. And the last thing in here is He-Man's axe. All right. Now, ooh, we actually missed a figure. Okay, right here we have Webstore. Webstore is personally one of my favorite uh, Masters of the Universe figures. I just really love. I just really. Uh, I just really love his uh, action feature. He, uh, he's supposed to come with like a backpack, and on the back it has a grapple hook, and when you pull it down, it kind of lifts him up, and he's kind of like Batman almost. It's like a spider Webstore. He's what he looks like a little grimy, a little dirty like all these are. This is a Mattel. Actually, it doesn't say. It just says Mattel. Oh, man. Pretty interesting. Kind of hard head. Pretty cool. We actually missed two guys. Sorry. Sorry for that. But right here we have... Dun, 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 dun. Merman. There you go, Merman. A little dirty as well. Legs a little loose. Look at the back. Taiwan, 1981. I think that's 1982. I can't see, but he is a little damaged and dirty. A little unfortunate. Now, to the main course of the box. We have the Battle Bones. I'm going to... Actually, grab a knife real quick to open this up. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and open up the main course of the lot. I'm gonna puncture this. All right, so here is the front half of the Battle Bones. It's supposed to be a dead dinosaur. I think he was originally on uh, Skeletor's side in the mini comics, but um, he's shown to be a good guy on the box cover, but. You know, here's the first half of him. And uh, the thing I do like about this is sort of a carrying case. So you can put uh, different figures on each one of these things. And uh, I'll show you once I have it fully built. Here's a little connector piece. And some screws. Okay. All right, so here is the Battle Bones fully built. This thing is huge, way bigger than I would have thought. You can fit one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve 12 characters on here. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how it works. I'm gonna get my friend Manny Faces right here. And you just go ahead and clip them on to right here. I'm pretty sure it works with most of the standard hip sizes. Yep. And you can go ahead and take this to your friend's house, bring all your figures. You can put the accessories up here in the front. You can even have somebody up here in the front riding it. Just like that. Pretty cool. And you can uh, eat your accessories or your figures as well. All right, guys, so that is the end of the video. Here's everything that we got. Two many faces, a merman, a zodak, a trap jaw, two screeches, uh, Man at Arms, uh, Road Ripper, uh, Battle Cat, um, Panthor, an extra set of um, skeleton, uh, Skeletor armor, uh, another Panthor satchel, Skeletor, He Man complete, and Battle Bones and a web store. And if you guys want to see any more videos of Masters of the Universe, go ahead and let me know down below. I'll probably be ordering a lot more lots. So this is not going to be the last videos you guys see from us. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below which is your favorite from here. And if you guys want us to continue making these videos, and goodbye.